I'm going to be doing a little demonstration flight of the JPI EDM 350 engine monitor. The engine monitor, my understanding is that it operates in four basic modes. Manual, that's engine monitoring. Automatic engine monitoring. Lean find, both rich of peak and lean of peak. And also in programming mode. So anyway, what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up here. We'll first go into manual mode. In order to go into manual mode, we tap the step button, which is the number one button. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll tap it. And what it's doing is it's showing us now that it's showing number two, and it would stay on number two if you happen to be a racer at Reno and you know that your number two cylinder is the hottest. Your CHT, you can keep it on this particular one. Keep an eye on it in the status bar, the scan bar near the bottom there. So if you want to go through the cycle through each of them, you just successively press the step, the step button. We'll go ahead and we'll do that now. Now we're on number three, number four, and this is shock cooling. Uh, the difference between the highest and lowest uh, EGT is about 69 degrees on my plane here. And we got oil temperature, oil pressure, oh, that went back to the RPM manifold pressure, estimated. Anyway, you can read the rest of the stuff here. So stepping through is the way to go through manual mode. And fairly simple. Nice thing, you can keep it on one particular function while you're descending. You might want to keep it on the shock cooling, so you can kind of keep an eye on that. So anyway, now to go back to automatic mode, we tap the LF key, followed by tapping the step key. So we're going to go ahead and tap the LF button, tap it, tap the step, and now we're in automatic scanning. And the way I have mine set here is a default, uh, about four seconds on each item. So you can set it to whatever you want. I have it set to every four seconds. It goes ahead and shows a different item there. So anyway, that's the both the manual and the automatic scanning mode. And okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead now and attempt to do the rich of peak leaning. We've done the pre-leaning, which means basically we enrich the mixture to the point where we know we're not uh, at peak on any of the cylinders. To do this, we tap the LF button. That's the number two button in this particular case. So we tap it, and we see that we're in rich of peak mode. So now we're going to go ahead and start leaning the engine about a quarter of a turn every second, which results in about 10 degrees rise in temperature every So we're going to keep on leaning. You can see number two is the highest DGT right now, but what we're looking for is, and we're going to see it here in just a moment after we've hit the peak, uh, still leaning the mixture. And any moment now. Leanest, okay. So that's that's the leanest, it's on number two. And to see the peak, we pull, press and hold peak, leanest, and it says number four was the leanest, I thought number two would be. Okay, and then if we press it, it's gonna show us that we're a minus 11 degrees. Now if I start enriching the mixture, We've already gone past the, the uh, peak EGT, so as I'm beginning to rotate the mixture control in, we should be seeing the number going down, meaning we're getting up near the peak EGT. We've now are at peak EGT, and we'll keep on going here. What I'm gonna do is go down to about 50 degrees rich of peak. Okay, so I'm still turning the mixture control in here, and we'll probably stop at around uh, 40 or 50, something like that. So anyway, basically, that's how you... Well, I went past it there, but anyway, that's how you set the rich of peak. I was a little surprised that it was the number four cylinder. Normally, I uh, it peaks out at number two. So again, I'm going to hold the peak button to see. And the leanest was number four, and it was 1447. 
Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to exit this mode. I'm going to get us turned around here. We're going to try Lena Peak today. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and attempt to do a lean find. Lean of Peak. We've already done the pre-leaning. So to do this, we tap the LF button or the number two button. Now we hold both the number one and number two down. That changes to lean of peak. So now we're in lean of peak leaning mode. So I'm going to start leaning the mixture. You just keep leaning the mixture. This will be my this is my first time doing this, so I'm probably not really familiar with it. I'm definitely not familiar with it. Okay, so we got the Linus, which is number four. Three of them have, looks like they've leaned because the bars are at the top. So we keep going here.